boys. Ah! Uh, today we're gonna be looking at um every smash bros character reveal ever that's ever been done before in history we're gonna look at every single one and we're going to rank them by what's the best one and what's the worst if you like connor eats pants <laughs> you'll love connor eats pants live oh, man. remember to subscribe right. for free there will be multiple factors involved in this meaning was the character a good pick was the trailer hype what was the situation around them at the time would someone else have been a better pick all of this will be important. And um, once again, let me establish this now. Just so everybody knows. My opinions are, in fact, objective fact. Uh, if you disagree, you are wrong. And you are probably stupid. Um, I know more about this franchise and what should be done with it than anybody on the planet. This is a great start to this, to today. We have the Super Smash Brothers Melee reveal trailer. So here you have Miyamoto on the left, along with Bill Billy Trinan on the right. Uh, actually, best friends, actually. And if you know the lore, you know Bill Trinan is actually responsible for convincing Miyamoto to put um, Chris Pratt in the new Mario movie. Not Bill Clinton, no. Everybody's pogging out of their mind. This is sad. <laughs> this is actually sad. We'll come back to this later when he actually gets put in the game. But uh, when this trailer happened, Everybody in the room thought Ridley was in the game. Yeah! That's what they were clapping for because obviously Samus was already in Smash. Everybody was like, oh my god, Ridley! And then boom, Sheik is also in the game. Everybody is pogging now. Ness is in the game. F-Zero is never getting another game. Wait, there's a funny thing with the ice climbers, I think. Hold on. <laughs> they, they really dug for that one. <laughs> hey, if you think they dug for that one, wait till this guy sees the rest of the characters on this. List. So we have the first four here. I'm going to put them all in A tier. I think they are great, but not the best because the trailer is just a reveal trailer and doesn't give them the personality that some of these later trailers might give. Next up, you got the Brawl reveal trailer. Okay, I'm just going to be on. I already know where this is going. This is also going to go in A. I think these are also great, but we're still good. We're reacting. This is where I'm, I'm react Andy. Warning, lower volume level. The only audio we have of this reveal is from a pre-iPhone era cell phone. Try my best to improve it, but you can only do so much with audio this terrible. You've been warned. Holy shit. Yeah, the audio is ass. Holy shit. Like I'm watching Lover Host. So this is a cool trailer because you see that there's now super moves. Um, this was also a cool trailer because they just came off the game Super Smash Brothers Melee, which managed to be a perfect video game in a gameplay sense, and that it captured a skill gap that no other game quite could. It managed to be fun even 15 years after its sequel was released. So there's a lot of hype here because surely the next game will only improve upon the previous game. Right there, Meta Knight just got revealed, which is super fucking hype. Let me tell you, as a kid, Meta Knight made me lose my shit. When I saw this trailer and Meta Knight was in the game, this isn't Pepe La. I don't actually give a fuck that he was OP. Listen, okay, listen, don't Pepe. Who cares Meta Knight was OP in Brawl? It's Brawl. You don't want to fucking play that competitively anyway. Meta Knight being in the game is hype as fuck. Great addition. Everybody loves Meta Knight. Samus got a super move. You're like, oh, damn, that's awesome. And then you get, you, oh my God, dude. Oh my, how many people, how many people, that was when you found out. How many of you, that was when you found out, you didn't know. You thought Samus was just a shooty guy. And if you found out, you're like, wait a minute. Samus is hot. And then Wario's in the game. And then he, and then he shits himself. And everybody lol W's because it was funny. Because farting is funny. This is pretty crazy. So at the time, what you need to understand is that this is fucking insane. This is ridiculous. There's never been a character that's not from Nintendo in Smash Bros. Uh, let alone, for some reason, Snake. Now, I'll admit it. I was a kid. I was like eight years old when I saw that trailer. And I was like, who the fuck cares? I, I honestly, I thought that was Mr. Call of Duty. I, I, you could have told me that was Mr. Call of Duty because I hadn't played like COD 3, I think, at that point. And I would have believed you. I was like, okay. Only found out who Snake was like years later. So now we're going to rank the characters here that just got revealed there meta knight easy a as i said i think he's a great pick uh just the trailer you know it's not his own do i take a bold stance and put pit in b the thing is pit was kind of fine i'm gonna put him in b just to cause trouble zero suit samus there you go um and then wario also a and then snake he's got an ass on him fuck it fuck it all right and there's that list from the brawl trailer sonic revealed plus new super smash bros brawl trailer i'm gonna give you the lore here every morning um you would go online to smashbrosdojo.com if you were like a young connor and every morning every weekday mr sakurai himself guy who works so hard hashtag thank you sakurai hashtag it's only a one-man show he doesn't have a dev team i only thank him he would upload on his website and he would show you one thing from the game it could be an item could be a stage could be a brand new character and then that morning on october 10th young connor gets up in the morning and 
turns on the family computer and then sees like character reveal and you click on it. And I'm pretty sure my mom thought someone died. I pogged so hard here. Wait, this isn't it, is it? Oh wait, this is it. Actually fucking crazy. Actually fucking ridiculous. People, people cried. Too bad he's lame in the actual game. That's true. We'll talk about that. So here's the lore behind that from what I'm aware. They announced Snake for the game and the reaction's ridiculous. And everybody's like, well, can we get Sonic? And Sakurai's like, okay, I'll go try. He's like, can we have Sonic? And Sega said no. He's like, oh, okay, I'll just finish the game. That game was meant to come out the end of that year around Christmas time. Young Connor was pogging. Christmas, I get the game, I'll be sick. In fact, my birthday present that year in August was a pre-order for Smash Bros. So I wouldn't even have to wait till Christmas. I get it on release date. Then late 2007, I think it was, Sega then goes back to Sakurai and it's like, actually, never mind. Actually, no, he can go in the game. So then he tries to put him in the game and he has to end up delaying the game, I think, to like March of the next year is when it came out in America, which is kind of crazy and sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, the saddest part about it is that Sakurai then managed to make his moveset terrible. So stupid and not fun. And then he's never changed it since. But still, it, I think is objective effectively the best ever addition to Smash Bros. Um, I don't think you can argue that there's a better one here. I think Sonic is forever going to be the holy grail of what they could have added to the game. That's why he's S tier for Sonic. Yeah, now we're getting into Smash Bros Wii U, which is sadly the not a great time. <laughs> On this day was E3 and Nintendo goes in their direct they announce, I think it was Palutena from Kid Icarus and the Miis, which we'll get to. But that was like, okay. And then later that day, they did an invitational tournament. And then Zero won it, by the way, and got the handshake Sakurai. And, and now it makes sense why he continually makes the game's dog shit after that. So, uh, and this is the Pac-Man announcement trailer, which you would think at the end of the invitational, the tournament, when they have a, over 100,000 people watching the stream and they turn off the stream and there's nothing. And you're like, what? There's no character reveal. And then they go to a private press room and they invite like 50 journalists, including Game Explain, by the way, who no one was paid for being there. Andre was at home dicking around, jerking off, and everybody else was there. And then they revealed Pac Man. Okay, can we be honest and talk about how actually like Pac Man it would have been if this was who they added? Like, not like, like cartoony Pac Man but just the fucking pixel Pac-Man. That would have been like 10 times cooler. Pac-Man hungers for battle. This is a hype reveal, but I'm putting it in B because of the, uh, of how they dropped the ball and revealing it. It should have been on that stream. That is why it's in B. Next up. This is actually, I'm going to just subtract a point here because literally everybody thought, because we didn't know what that meant at this point yet. Or, uh, you, it was very easy to mentally ignore the Smash look at the beginning and then think you were getting an Animal Crossing game on the Wii U, which literally you were baited twice. You had this happen and then the next year you had a uh, fucking, what was the game? Amiibo Festival. But at first you're like, oh my God, Animal Crossing on Switch. But then you realize this is such a great addition. Let's be honest. Animal Crossing Villager is a is a great addition to the game. That's an example of a great, huge Nintendo property that should be in the game. If they ever add a good first party character, you should always commend them for that because as you will see soon, they forgot how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I thought the Wii U version looked so fucking good in this trailer. I was like, what? It looks like that? No way. And then it didn't. It looks fucking terrible, actually. But look at this. Look at how great this is, dude. Look at how awesome he is. And then you got all those wacky, funny memes of, like, the villager killing somebody. That was funny, dude. Yeah, then that trailer ended, and then you, you had this. And this was hype. This was huge. Mega Man was like, Mega Man and Pac-Man are the ones you're like, there's no way they'll put in Mega Man and Pac-Man after Sonic. That'd be crazy. And they fucking do it, dude. Fucking uh, just crazy. And then uh, this is the best Mega Man's ever looked, by the way, in like 20 years. Everybody pogged. Everybody was happy with that. No one complained unless you were stupid. Great addition. Let's rank them. I'm trying to think of how to do this because I actually think they belong in A, but I just want to stack A tier. I want to split these up a little bit. Okay, you know what? I'm going to make this. This is A minus because their trailer, they're good addition but their trailers were not personalized. That's why they're A minus. This is now A tier. And in there goes Villager. Mega Man is a third party, which is exciting. Always going to come in a good third party. I'm going to make A plus. <laughs> I'm really categorizing here. Just trust me. It's going to be good. All right. Next up after that would be Rosalina. Wait, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Wrong. I, oh, you almost caught me slipping there. Next up is actually this one. Okay. This is another example of them for some reason thinking that they don't need to reveal things live, even though they could, because they just announced this like on the floor of E3 and then dropped the trailer online on YouTube like later in the day. And you were like, what the fuck? That's funny because they're doing yoga and she fucking kills him this is ridiculous i mean that's just all that's it he still had sakurai still had it when he did this sakurai still had it 
It's a great addition. Fucking fantastic addition. I'm gonna put We Fit Trainer in A tier with Villager. On equal footing. An icon important to Nintendo should be in the game. All right, next up. I'm actually gonna take off points in this trailer because this pissed me off. <laughs> this pissed me off. It could have been Air Ride 2. Dude, it could have been Mario Kart 9 that has Kirby and like other characters in the game. That's what this could have been. They fooled me. This is cute though. That's cute. That's cute. Worst addition. I think there were better Mario characters you could have added before Rosalina. I'll, say, I'll I'll agree with that. I think you needed Toad in the game. Anyways, Rosalina B tier. I should move. I should move Pac-Man. I, I I don't like him here. I'm looking at this. I don't like this. He doesn't deserve to be here. You're right. He doesn't deserve to be here. It's so many rows. A plus, but stupid way to reveal him. Sakurai is senile. All right. This was the next character revealed for Smash Bros. If you know who it is, shut the fuck up. Don't spoil it. All right. Enjoy the trailer the way God intended and your shitty Nintendo Direct that announced no good games. <laughs> it's Drake. <laughs> Let's not forget that this character canonically beat the shit out of Mike Tyson. Like, that's canon. They can never take that away. And that's why Little Mac is a base character to add to Smash Bros. Literally beat the shit out of Mike Tyson canonically. And he's in Smash Bros. And then he kicked the shit out of a woman who made fun of his height. Most base Smash Bros. character of all time. Connor is used to him making fun of his height. No. No, no one makes fun of me. All right, Little Mac. Great addition, great character. Kicks ass. A plus. A plus. A Little Mac's a great character. Got great history. Very unique gameplay. Great addition. The next one, if I recall correctly, it was this. This trailer, I've got a problem with. I've got a problem with this trailer. I, I'm a huge Pokemon fan, but uh, every, this is a sad trailer. Everybody thought that Mewtwo was coming back in this. The hype was being built. You're like, wait a minute. Just Charizard? Okay, where's Pokemon trailer? By the way, for those who don't know, the reason Pokemon trainer was not in this game was because Sakurai had the genius decision to make the 3DS and the Wii U versions exactly the same. And the 3DS version could not handle Pokemon Trainer switching characters, nor could it handle Sheik and Zelda switching, nor could it handle the Ice Climbers. So instead of, you know, just put them in the Wii U, he just said, nope, we're actually not going to put them in at all. Greninja's cool, though. I'll say it. I'm fine with Greninja in the game. Greninja was a good pick. And you have to give them credit, too, because they picked Greninja before he was even, like, announced, like, officially. Like, when they were developing the game, they looked at concept art and they picked Greninja because they're like, yeah, he seems cool. And they were right. Greninja will go B tier. He'll go B tier. I think he belongs in B. Um, still a fine addition, but not hype. Now, keep in mind, at this point, we've only had good additions, in my opinion. And I'm going to put a disclaimer here. This is a disclaimer. If you are a weeb, at this point, I'm going to ask you to shut the fuck up and do not type in my Twitch chat anymore this evening. Do not type anymore. Your opinion does not matter here. We're normal people here. Next character revealed. This trailer is actually pretty pretty pog even if it's for weebs thing is this character was leaked so no one cared everybody knew this character was coming for months because they were leaked so it just didn't even matter but they did like a whole like actual like anime animation for like the reveal which is cool you got to respect that that's neat but now you're gonna get into the horny side of sakurai and boom there she is she kills him bro <laughs> this man is so horny directing these trailers it's crazy am i crazy for saying that this character was just so unnecessary. I feel like I'm not crazy. Like, you, you gave Kid Icarus one new game, and suddenly you're like, okay, we're gonna put in Dark Pit and Palutena. Okay, fuck this, by the way. Fuck this, because it made me look like an idiot on Smashboards.com. I, I got an argument with a guy. He was like, yeah, Dark Pit's actually was just announced as a character. And I was like, I wrote like a three-paragraph essay. I'm like, uh, no, actually, he's definitely just an alt skin. Definitely just an alt skin. Why the fuck would they make Dark Pit his own character? It makes no sense. And then in the end, I was actually right because he was meant to be an alt skin that didn't change last minute to just be on separate on the select screen. He was supposed to be an alt skin. Although, uh, and I saw people in chat like debating like, is, is Sakurai actually horny? This is a 100 questions with Masahiro Sakurai released July 30th, 2008. If we go to question 62 here, he is asked, what is your fetish? He goes, I guess the chest. We're gonna keep going actually, so you get to know who Sakurai really is. How do you ask a girl out? You can't overthink it. If you have the mentality of chasing and escaping, then people can really see through that secret intention. Mr. Sakurai, do you break girls' hearts or do they break yours? They break mine. I did not need to know this. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. This is, this is your king. Has your father ever hit you? Many times. Oh my God. 
<laughs> Wait, what the fuck is going on in this interview? All right, Pat Lutena, you can go in Lamonting. Uh, that can just, that's free Lamonting. Next trailer. This was right after, I think, they announced Pat Lutena. This is a badass trailer. R.I.P. Reggie. Sad. Okay, you got it wrong, man. Wrong one. Dude, they're literally kicking each other's ass. It's not even real, dumbass. Okay, okay, dude. Okay, okay dude. I'm gonna say it. This sucked. They could have added the Miis as a very unique, like, Wii Sports, Wii Play, Wii Fit, Wii whatever moveset. Maybe they use Wii remotes or some shit. Could have been kind of funny. They could have been really unique. I would have preferred them be an actual design character rather than, like, this customized thing. Okay. Wait, Dark Pit was on here. D. We're gonna get down to lower tiers later. I'm just gonna toss it in there for now. We're gonna organize these. Um, who do we just look at? The Miis? Miis should have been in the game. They're a good addition. I don't like exactly how they're implemented. I'm gonna put them in A minus. Good trailer, good addition from a character standpoint. Okay, next reveal. Ah, I know what's next. Story time for some that may know. Around E3 of that year, I was on Smashboards and I was given a I was I was given a message by some guy. Some guy went and posted his leaks in the in the board. And then he was like, yeah, they put Bowser Jr. in like a Mario Kart and the Duck Hunt dog and also Lucina and Robin, which was weird. And everybody told him to kill himself <laughs> because because everybody was like, um, we already know that Krom is in the game and was leaked. So fuck off and kill yourself was was said. I messaged them and I said, hey, man, even though your leak's fake, like, you know, it's fine. You don't have. It's OK. I was nice. Um, And then they said, actually, hey, man, I appreciate you reaching out. My leak is not fake. And here's proof. And they sent me logs that showed that their friend is a brawl modder and like made like they basically they showed that the guy knew the colors of the, the character's alt costume colors before the e3 demo and then the, it was proven by the e3 demo so i was like wait a minute he's probably telling the truth and so I, I made a post about it and no one really cared but then this happened so this trailer oh they made me wake up at like 9 a.m for this trailer by the way and i was like 16 a growing boy did not want to wake up at 9 a.m on the weekend or during the summer let me wake up for fire emblem so you see a trailer you're like okay what the fuck? I thought this was a bit. I didn't think she was actually happening because I didn't think of the leak at the time. Captain Falcon's in the game, though. Actually, the highlight of this trailer was that Captain Falcon was confirmed. And then the Harry Potter rolls up. Everybody's like, what the fuck is going on? It's going to be all right. It's not okay. It, see, this is the biggest lie ever told because this was a precursor to every fucking Fire Emblem character ever come out. He was the start. He said it's going to be okay. He lied. He fucking lied, dude. No, you'll get it today. Wait, this reminds me what I have to show you. You thought I was going to put this trailer in F tier. You really thought I would have. But there's a saving grace to this trailer. This is when so many people found Etika. It's cold! It's cold! <laughs> about to say who the who fuck that? are these people <laughs> and that's his best line ever who the hell is that <laughs> robin who the fuck are these people <laughs> what the fuck are these people? i suppose i'll get my chance another no crom no he's not in it crom is not it's super smash brother crom he's in it oh my god oh my he's god. in <laughs> some of the worst characters ever added to the game we'll put d there but because of the epic reaction, we'll put Lucida in A+. You watch the, if you watch through, you'll know why it's labeled the way it is. Okay, this is when it gets weird because everything was leaked after this. Um, I think Shulk was the next trailer, though. This is the Shulk reveal. We're going to re rate this just by the revealed trailer alone. Oh, wait. It actually it loses a point because they only announced this in the Japanese Direct. It was a Japanese-only Nintendo Direct that they announced this in, which was offensive to me as an American. That they would reveal a character in a, at an event not even where we could watch. I'm really feeling it. It's funny because he's British. I also have played some of his game and I think it's good. I haven't beaten it yet because it's like 150 hours. But I think Shulk is a good pick. Shulk, A minus. A minus. I'll put you in A minus, I think. All right, next up is Bowser Jr. and Duck Hunt. Um, I haven't actually seen their trailers in a long time. I'm going to rank them both together because they were both like post post launch. Like I think their trailers came out. You need to duck hunt yourself some bitches. This trailer would have been hyped if he wasn't leaked. If I'm viewing this from I didn't know, this is sick because Bowser Jr. is a great pick. Bowser Jr. in the white Bronco. <laughs> 
This is the Duck Hunt trailer. Can we talk about how Sakurai added Duck Hunt Dog to the game and then didn't give him the taunt where he literally stands up and does the noise? Like, why? Like, wouldn't that be like the number one thing that you would do? Like, he has one where he like leans to the side and like kind of does it. Like, isn't that like literally what he should? Like, that's like the number one thing. It'd be a perfect taunt. The fuck is hat? Okay, I, never, I don't remember this. Why are they old? <laughs> Come to Smash Bros. Okay. They're in HD now. This is what Mario will look like in 2025. Duck Hunt Dog? Fucking fantastic addition again. Great pick. If, if they're gonna bring back like old school Nintendo characters, Duck Hunt, great pick. <laughs> yeah, and it goes the shit mic for this. It's been up for 22 hours streaming this shit. He's... <laughs> Here, yeah, this one. This is awesome. <laughs> this is him playing the Smash 3DS demo, is what this is. <laughs> Anyways, where we rank these, Duck Hunt is a fantastic addition. Um, A, Bowser Jr. Also A. I think they're both A's. That, that was that was the end of, of base Smash 4. And then we get into post-launch. Okay, literally the only version uploaded is going to be Etika's reaction. So that's the one we're going to watch. I think, didn't Sakurai literally retweet this clip? I think this is the most iconic Etika reaction. Mewtwo! Mewtwo! <laughs> <laughs> that was me, dude. I was pogging. All right. Mewtwo coming back to smash it's not it's not it's not with sonic it's not with it can't be with. it's 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 a plus um all right next up this is a returning character trailer this is right after they, i think they showed the second mewtwo trailer which i'm not gonna show because who cares Reading the mewtwo is in the game it didn't have any like cool animations or anything Fire! it's kind of a mid trailer you didn't get like an animation they tried to like make it like the other trailers but it wasn't it's cool they gave him a trailer because he's dlc but he's you know, it's eh. And I'm gonna be honest, I didn't give a fuck about Lucas coming back. I would care more about, like, characters returning to Smash 4 if Smash 4 was a fun game to play. Lucas, kind of a boring one. I'm gonna say it's a boring job. I'll put him down here in D. Move you down to go to hell, Robin. Actually, Dark Pit can also go to hell. Um, Next would be Roy Reveal. Smash 4. Oh, I already have that right there. I never recommended. This is when Roy was announced to come back to Smash. You recommend it's gonna be fucked? It's fine. I use the alt account for uh, watching things on stream. Let's rank Roy really quick. Actually, Roy's cool. Roy's cool. I like Roy. Roy, I'm a Roy guy. I like Roy. I can't do that. I don't know if they belong in D. I'm gonna move them to B. Roy, yeah, Roy got leaked and that ruined the hypes. This is the next character that was announced. He was leaked, so it's not as exciting. Full disclosure. No one really cared because we already knew it was happening because Sakurai was dumb and left the data in the files. This is hype though. This is a great addition. I feel like Ryu is a, is a very fair like next character to add if you're going with third parties. That's like the fighting game guy. Good pick. He's a good pick. I can blame Sakurai. Sakurai for leaving his data in the game. I'm gonna put him with the Pac-Man because that's also his fault. Should have known that it would have gotten leaked. I'll put him in A+, but stupid way to reveal him because Sakurai is senile. There you go. Character after Ryu was a uh, cloud, right? I just spoiled it. This was wild. This was crazy. This was a wild trailer. This is hype and I'll explain why to all my non-weebs in chat. Final Fantasy VII is a good game. Very important. You can also blame it though. Because it's also definitely responsible for people here giving more of a shit about JRPGs. So he's also, he's also at fault. But it's a good game and Cloud is cool. You can't deny that Cloud is cool. Also, from a gameplay standpoint, one of the best DLC characters they've made. He's so fun to play. I think Cloud gets a bonus points for how great he is, like, gameplay-wise. They did a great job with him. I'll put him in A+. Alright, now we get into the real fucking cream of the crop of Smash Bros. characters. This one was so fucking hype, dude. Chatters, if you aren't ready for this one, damn, dude, I'm sorry. Because this one's gonna, you're gonna lose your mind when you see this. This shit went crazy, man. Fine, they, they, this is the final Smash Bros. broadcast. They're gonna be announcing the final characters for Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS. I thought that they fucked up and that the stream messed up here. I honestly did. I was like, what is... Did you play the wrong trailer? Don't pick the, don't pick. All you had to do was not pick it. All you had to do is just not pick that, man. That's all you had to do, bro. I remember watching this and wanting to die. Wait, I think my reaction saved. Let's go to the archive. Are you kidding me? More anime? Who is this? Corin? Who the f*** is Corin? I'm so upset. That was cool. Base. Base, true, is. actual based yeah, reaction. Oh, okay, Corin's a girl too. <laughs> Did she say me? Who, who is this? 
Oh wait, that's actually, dude. I'm such a funny editor. Holy shit! Like girl, I did that on dude. purpose, thousand percent. Corin's a girl and a boy. The, the, the guy speaking sounds dumb. Okay, no, the guy speaking does not sound dumb. He sounds cool. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like the fucking weakness. This is how we lost him. And this is this is what Nintendo content creation does. All right, we saw him react to Robin, and it was who are these people? A year and a half later. He's saying the Japanese name for the main character of Fire Emblem. My barefoot wife was coming through. Are you kidding me? <laughs> he did join Team Effie. He did. Don't tell me foot jobs all day. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Got the lotion in the back. No fucking way! <laughs> it made me feel bad for not liking the character. I was like, look at how happy people can be. It really made me self-reflect and be like, what is my? What is my purpose? I care so much about Smash, but everybody else gets to cheer, and I just get to be sad. All right, let's rank Corin easy. <laughs> go to hell. Actually, never come back. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Let's just make that especially clear. Easily the worst pick of all time for Smash Bros. All right, next one. And this is the last character revealed for Smash Bros. 4. And by the way, they claimed that they won the ballot. Can we talk about this? They claimed in this direct that Bayonetta won the ballot. Like, Sakurai just said that. And then recently, in the fucking new direct, he was like, yeah, uh, Sora won the ballot. I'm like, bitch, you already used this fake line. What are you talking about? This was a terrible addition. God-awful addition, I'll say it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be that bold and say it was terrible. You can say bad take, but I'm gonna explain. Bayonetta is a character. People like her. The games are good. The games are great, even. She didn't fit in Smash. She didn't fit in Smash. At this point, they were only adding iconic third-party characters. Characters, if you're a third-party in Smash, you are above the rest in gaming. You matter. Bayonetta wasn't on that level of any other third-party character. I will stand by that ton of time. Now, if after this, it got worse. After this, it got worse. Don't get me wrong. It got worse. And now she's definitely not the worst third party. But at the time, I was like, I thought this was stupid. And I ended up being based too because she ruined the game. They put her in the game and then she made the game even worse than what it already was because of how broken she was. I'm going to put this and people are going to be mad. People are going to be really mad. D tier. I'm putting it there and I'm leaving it there. I'm putting it there and I'm leaving it there. I think for the reasons that I stated, it gets D. All right. Next trailer reveal. This is a hype trailer. This is a good one. I knew. I knew when I when this trailer came on, I knew. People who only found out then were not smart, unlike me, who was smart and knew the second this trailer came on. Uh, this one is A+. Plus. Oh, we already saw that one. Next would have been... Oh, man. I mean, it'd be just the order of E3, right? Oh, no, it'd be Daisy. Oh, everyone is here should be its own thing. No, yeah, you're right. Everyone is here is its own trailer. This is an iconic trailer. In fact, I might even go as far... I need to watch this. This might go with sonic this might go up there with sonic honestly I, I think it's up there i'd seen this trailer so many times this was so hype i mean if you're watching this you're like oh my god mewtwo what yo mewtwo's back oh the ice climbers Bum. and then you're like oh pokemon trader what huh <laughs> this is so hype uh it's so fucking hype that's uh, so fucking hype you guess it, it hits in with P people don't give pichu enough credit here well watch my reaction where i yell pichu pichu is what solidifies it <laughs> <He's back>. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone! Pichu! <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I Pichu! love that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Never man's gonna be pissed! Smash attack cancels dashes! Ah, oh, dude, I was oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was so excited, man. I was so excited. I was, I think that actually made me cry. I think that actually did like make me like super emotional. You were so soy, dead stock, dead stock. You, you are going to type in my chat and say you were so soy. Dead stock is going to type that message. Oh my God. <laughs> I thought it meant it was melee, bro. I thought it meant it was melee. Of course I was going to lose my shit. Okay, everyone is here. That's S. That's S. I'm putting it up there. It's great. Daisy. I'm putting that in A. This might actually also go in S. This is probably the peak. After all these years, they finally put him in the fucking game. All these fuckers on Smashboards telling me he'll never be in the game because he's too big. Shut the fuck up, bitch. He looks so good, dude. The way they sized him was so good. Ridley, you're going in S. You're going in S, Ridley. Ridley deserves it. He deserves to be up there. This is a great trailer. It got people talking. It's funny, man. Luigi literally died. Weren't they all leaked the night before, like Simon? No. Uh, the rest of the characters in this direct were not leaked. Which is why this direct was really fucking good. 
Yeah, it is one of the best looking trailers. It's so, it's so fucking cool. The music's great too. And I forgot how good of an addition this was. Richter though, Lamonting. I'm gonna say it. Richter, sleeper compared to Simon. Everybody was pogging over Richter because he was like cute anime boy. And I was like, shut the fuck up. Simon Belmont is Alpha Gigachad incarnate. Look at those locks, dude. Actual Gigachad. Who's Richter? This guy. <laughs> he sounds like a bitch too. You don't belong in this world, monster. He sounds like me reacting to Smash Bros. I beat you to it. I beat you to it, Maggie. I, I knew it was coming. I beat you to it. Nice joke, chatter. Simon. That's a great trailer. A plus. Richter. Boring. I'll put him up there with him just to avoid confusion. I'm gonna admit something here. I was a King K. Rule hater, and it was solely because on Smash Boards, the K. Rule fans were always really fucking annoying, and I always told them to shut the fuck up. Great trailer, though. Great fucking trailer. What's great to me is all the reactions that were like, no! People here were like, no, what? I'm like, what, do you think they're not gonna add him? Do you think, do you think it's not happening? Like, there's no way they were gonna do that and then not put him in the game. That would have been fucked. Would have been really funny. I would have loved that, but... King K. Rool. Badass fucking crocodile, man. All right, where was that? K. Rool? K. Rool's great. Great trailer. I'll put you in A+. Actually, Lamonting. For the fans. Uh, next up, pretty sure was... Yeah, it was her. Can I be honest? The reaction to this and Isabel of, like, people, like, joking at all about, like, sexualizing her actually made me lose my shit. I was so amazed. I was like, wait, there really are, like, some actual degenerates out there. Like, the fact that it even, like, occurred in people's head was, like, so crazy to me. Like, so mind-boggling. Some of you really do need God, actually. I think she's a better addition than people gave her credit for. That being said, I would have much rather had KK Slider or Tom Nook. Tom Nook would have been so funny. Imagine Tom Nook, like, throwing bells at people and, like, giving you a mortgage as, like, the final smash. Uh, Isabel, I'm gonna put her in B. People were pissed by this reveal. And it's crazy because, once again, Connor Eats Pants called the fucking thing months before. Because, uh, if you don't remember, there was this thing called the Grinch leak that people believed for some fucking reason. Even though it was absurd that it would be real. And then I made this thread. It said there's only two characters left in Smash Ultimate. This is after Isabel was revealed. I saw the box that came out that they showed. And I was like, oh, well, this is only two slots. One for Isabel and one for the last remaining newcomer. But that's not the case because I did the math and I realized, I'm like, wait a minute. The above are shown on the other side of the box because you only saw these guys on that side. You didn't see Mario in them. It was after. I was like, wait a minute. So it goes, it goes eight characters and sh no, it's sh it's show nine, skip nine. I was like, oh, okay. The, pa the pattern repeats itself. Nine characters all the way to Palutena and Corin. We only get eight. I said theory busted, right? No, Ken is rumored to be an echo of Ryu which would then fill nine on their side. So it actually shows the fact that Ken's accounted for. It shows that this pattern has a purpose and it's not just like, it's not just there for no reason. I said the only characters left are Ken and Incineroar. I was based. I was right. Ken is in the game. It's cool. Ken's good. Uh, Ken's a good pick. Fuck Incineroar. I actually think Incineroar is not a bad addition. It was just a, it was just a really stupid idea to make him the last character you show. That was a Sakurai moment. That was a Sakurai not thinking moment there of let's reveal Incineroar as the last guy. And literally at this moment, every single like, like copium smash nerd was like, oh my God, Isaac's going to pop out. <laughs> Isaac and the leak's going to be real. Ken is good. Put him there. Incineroar, I'll put him in B. I'll admit that he's was kind of sleeper because of when he was revealed. I'll admit that. That's fair. Oh man, we're about to, we're about to get into some some trash. <laughs> we're about to get into some some ass here. This one's actually not bad. This one I think is a good addition because I'm smart and I understand the way the world works, which is that Mario is the biggest series. And so Mario should have a ton of characters, including the piranha plant, because that's funny. He is going to lose a point on my tier list because of every fucking 12 year old kid on online that was like, that said plant game. It took away from it. It took away from us honest piranha plant enjoyers. Piranha plant, great addition, A. Joker fans, I'm warning you. I'm gonna have a take here. Gonna have a take here that you're probably not gonna like. After Bayonetta, it was made clear that you don't have to be a gaming icon to be put in the game. It was made clear. So I can't be upset about not being a gaming icon. That being said, I still stand by that should be the philosophy Sakurai goes with. Mute me all you want. Mute me all you want. Also, I think it was also made worse by the fact that Persona 5 literally isn't on the Switch. Putting it in D with Bayonetta. I'm putting it above Bayonetta though, I think. I think it was better than Bayonetta. Because Bayonetta was worse because of the fucking... It was the last one for Smash 4. Next character. This is when they really just went down. They were like, we're an anime game. We're an anime game though. But here's the thing with this too. This is a better edition than Joker. I'm saying it. Because I, I'm, I'm telling... It's not just personal opinion. 
I try to have some basis in my argument here. And at the very least, Hero is incredibly important in Japan. Dragon Quest and these characters are so fucking big. There's history there. And there's a lot of history in how it affected gaming. And you know what? I, I respect that. And so I think that he's a better addition than Bayonetta and Joker. Starfy would have been cooler? Hell yeah, brother. Starfy fans, rise up. I think Hero's A-. minus. I'm putting it that high. I think it's better picked than all of these. The only reason it's down here is because of Anime Swordsman. I think like objectively, it's up here. I think objectively, like from from how I view Smash Bros and who should be in the game, I think it's up there uh, in terms of gaming history. Better than Joker? A thousand percent better than Joker. I already explained this. Joker is not an icon of gaming. Next one, Boomers Rejoice. This one's for you. I was excited for this. I can't lie. I was excited. It's neat. A lot of people, including myself, grew up thinking that Banjo was a Nintendo character. All right, Banjo has so much like nintendo fan energy behind him great pick great trailer i'm gonna say a plus best character viva la mexico okay yeah we're gonna talk about that in a second i'm gonna be honest i don't think this is a fantastic addition i think it's very niche no one was asking for it the gameplay is super you say terry's fun to play as i don't think any fighting game character in smash is on the play as i hate the way they did every fighting game character in this game i hate it i hate how they look the same way against the the opponent every time i, I hate the way they play i hate i hate putting in inputs for their moves in smash it just doesn't feel right i hate it you're racist towards me and my people what the fuck i hate you yes so that let me get to that so the thing with terry and i don't even know if sakurai intended this i think it was much more just sakurai is sakurai and he's like i'm gonna put terry in because i can but this is good because latin america got one character at the end of the day this is this is this was for latin america they des they deserved it they deserved a win all right so terry i would put him here i would but i'm gonna put him up to above even above the sizable gap because latin america i love you you know what is alex around where's my moderator chat can you hear him yo can you guys hear me hello this is alex my moderator long time viewer second ever connor eats pants viewer after swole pepe long time friend long time mod of the channel uh alex uh, we're, we're ranking the smash Bros. reveals right now um and i wanted to explain to the people why terry is important from a hispanic viewpoint all right so there's a little little history message right all starts i can't explain it empieza in mexico and los yo creo 1991? Yeah. Ooh. Oh my god. No puedo explicar cómo esto siento. Este, en, so, cuando pasó esto, era todos los máquinas de Japón, Japón estaban llegando al Sudamérica. Se, when did it come out? When was Terry in Smash? I don't fucking know. I'm moving him up. You're convincing me. <laughs> All right, thank you for that. That was awesome. Thank you guys. Now I'm convinced he, he belongs up there. Unironically, there's no debating. You cannot argue this. I don't want to hear not even one fucking Fire Emblem person even try to argue. This is objectively the worst pick ever for Smash Bros. Ever. Worse than Corrin. With Corrin, it was Smash 4. That game already sucked. There was no saving. Ultimate had potential. Corrin was just the cherry on top of the dog shit that they fed you. Why did they think we needed another Fire Emblem character in the game? It was like a joke. All right, we'll just keep him in the bottom with Corrin there. They're so bad. Next one, ARMS, Min Min. This one was so weird because like they just announced randomly that they were adding in an ARMS character like three months before this trailer. I was like, why? Like, why didn't you just like wait to reveal it? That would have been cooler. Yeah, Min Min's cool because they were Etika's favorite. So that made me happy. If they were going to add an ARMS character, I'm glad it was Min Min. I would have liked Min Min over any of the others. Okay, Min Min? I think that's a B. I don't like ARMS, but it's a Nintendo edition. Oh, hell yeah, here we go. Here's a real fucking trailer. Anybody who thinks that this isn't the best DLC pick by, like, a mile is actually insane. Like, you are lying to yourself. This is a thousand percent their best edition. It's not even, it's not even close. It's not. It's not even close. Minecraft is literally the biggest game of all time. Minecraft is the biggest game of all time. Why the fuck should it not be in Smash? Also, the way they implemented it in the game, Sakurai's probably his best work in terms of putting a character in the game, I think. Because this is so... I mean, Sora looks good too, to be honest, but this is great. I said... There's a, probably a clip of me somewhere before he was ever revealed saying they put him in Smash. I hope they give him no animations and he's super stiff. And that when you hit him, he just flies. Which is what they did, which is so perfect. You know, Alex only got in because of like Mojang was like, no, you actually need to include Alex. Zachary was like, who the fuck is Alex? <laughs> the Enderman is so funny. <laughs> Where is Randall? Yeah, good question. I don't know, man. All right, Steve. A plus. A plus. Top of A plus. I don't think. Ah, no, he's S. No, he's S. You're right. He's S. He's S. All right, next one. I actually like this one. 
I'm a fan. I think Final Fantasy VII getting a second character was kind of weird. I'll admit that. However, I think that uh, more villains is sick. And Sephiroth is like one of the best gaming villains. And the trailer's sick. Also, his moveset, so fun. He's probably one of my fun, one of my funnest characters. One of my favorite characters that he's so fun to play. I'll put him an A. I'll put him an A. I think he's sick. Mm -hmm. Now nah, look at A plus. I'm gonna give him A plus. Nah, I'm gonna give him A plus. He can't be above Cloud. He's A plus. Nah, he's A. I can't. I nah. I'm thinking about it. I can't. He's A. I, I give, I'm giving him too much credit because I like the character a lot. All right, next one. This is when it just just like really. would have lost his shit over Pyro He would have. He would have. Etika would have pogged over everything though. To be fair, I don't think Etika would have been upset by anything. God, I watched this whole fucking trailer during that direct, and I was like, man, this is bullshit. I'm gonna have to really watch DLC. Or Xenoblade Chronicles 2, fucking shitty weeb game that's a really weird fucking like sexualization of like every fucking girl. And like there's a fucking guy that makes like a little, like this literally sex doll character. And the joke is that he like, it's so weird. It's so, it's the game is shit. I'm sorry, this game is shit. These characters are insane too. They're really fun to play. I'll give them that. They're fun as fuck to play. Um, they're a fun moveset. Put Shulk and go to hell because he's British. That actually, yeah, yeah. Good idea, pleb. Yeah. All right, Pyramithra can also go to hell. Um, Kazuya. I'm going to say it. Kazuya is one of the worst picks. Base on the fact that it is towards the end of the fucking fighter's pass. And we have two, we had two characters left. And it's like, dude, really? Also, yeah, it should have been Kuma. It, it should have been Kuma, a thousand percent. Kuma would have been so funny. No one would have complained if it was Kuma. Even people that don't give a fuck about Tekken would have been like, Haha, look at the bear. Kazuya. Put him in D. Better than these. All right, last one. Finally, we're here. Oh, the trailer's called The Last Key. That's cute. This is a great trailer. The more I sit on this one, the more it really is good. The, the, Sora's a good final pick. People really wanted Sora. There was just a lot of questions whether or not Sora could get in. Sora's a fine last pick, but there should have been better picks before it. Should have been Mickey. Mickey would have been so funny, man. The more I think about that, the more crazy it is. Imagine, yo -ho! <laughs> yo <-ho! laughs> <laughs> That's one thing you have to give it, dude. Kingdom Hearts music is so fucking good. I like it's actually really impressive how good the music is in that game. Disney music itself is iconic, right? And they somehow managed to capture that with the Kingdom Hearts theme. Kinda sucks the story is weird as fuck. The story the story is so stupid. But I think that's part of the charm. Anyways, Sora, as you've just seen, is obviously one of the best characters ever be added. I'm gonna put him high up in A+. Plus. Um, I'm gonna organize within tiers. Mm, this was hype. What, what am I, am I voting for Inkling here? I'm just kind of doing this as like the reveal of ultimate. I don't think I should probably pull this further back then. Mewtwo goes up there. Lamonting, yep, that's all fair. Put Greninja up higher there. Pit, Pit and Greninja can be up front. Sizable gap is fair. Here, I'm gonna put Kazuya above the rest because I think he deserves, he makes more sense for the game than the other two. Go to hell. Okay, this was a bit. I did this as a bit. Shulk should be higher. Where'd I have Shulk before? I'm an A, right? I'm going A. Go to hell. That's fair. And then never come back. Yeah, no, this is good. All right, there you go. There's my tier list. It took five fucking hours, but I did it. Five hours, but here you go. Remember to subscribe for free.